Hi everyone, uh, this is Chauke speaking, uh, the facilitator of building and structural construction N6 at Majuba TVET College. I'll be taking you through the same subject and we'll be looking at trust design and this video will be part 2C. We'll be using J. Bischoff as our reference book. All right, so you remember that we pulled um, this question from April 2011 exam, which is question number five, um, which is combining the trust design wells as well as bolt connection. So we have already dealt with 5.1 and 5.2. We are dealing with 5.3 or 5 .3 now. So the question says uh, the figure below, which I'll show you, uh, shows a connection of a steel roof with forces acting on member A and member B as indicated. The members A and B are single discontinuous angle iron profiles fixed both sides to 12 millimeter gussets. All right. So here is the diagram number A, which is subject to 88 current chance with force. Um, it's a tie. Here is a strut subject to 96 kilonewtons, which is number B. All right. So now 5.3 select suitable equal leg angle iron profiles for members A and B with the total length of member B uh, equals to 1. 1.8 meters using the grade for the three steel. All right. So now, without any waste of time, let's go to uh, the solution. So we're going to be designing for member A, which is our tie. All right. So step number one, we will be determining the stress or allowable stress how do you go about that we go to table 20 allowable stress in axial tension right so it's in page one or two in your book now you remember the grade of a steel is 43 that we are given there okay we are going to assume that the thickness of um of our members will be less than 40 and because of that the stress is 155 MPA all right so now we continue to step number two step number two we will determine the effective area so how do you go about that we have to choose an angle ion first so in this case, I chose 60 by 60 by 5 millimeters or 60 by 60 by 5 kg per meter. Okay. So you get this one from your struct uh, structural steel tables. Okay. So if you go to clause 9,2,1, which is in page 1 or 2, uh, you will see this. Uh, formula for effective area okay so which is uh, 3 multiplied by area 1 squared plus 4 multiplied by area 1 multiplied by area 2 all over 3 multiplied by area 1 plus area, area 2 please go and watch the video on trust design which I dealt with this topic extensively alright so I covered most of the basics there so now, area two, according to the laws, all right, it is the unconnected leg, okay? So, unconnected leg, the, the formula is T into H over or minus T over two, all right? So, the T, which is the thickness of the member, is five into 60 which is our h minus 5 over 2 into so that gives us 287,5 millimeter squared okay so now 
So that's area 2. Area 1 is equals to area 2. Why? Because they've got, they are equal, 60 by 60. Okay. The, the legs are equal. However, area 1 is the connected leg. So therefore, area 1 is equals to area 2. But we have to subtract the area of the hole which is d which is uh, d representing the diameter of the hole um, multiplied by t which is the thickness which is as a breadth or depth so now area 2 is 287,5 minus 18 which is the diameter of the hole how where do we, where do where do we get this 18 it is because we are given the size of the bolt, which is 16, M16, remember that. So, we know that the size of the hole will be 2 millimeters more than the size of the bolt. So, we add 2 to 16. So, that's where we get 18. And then 5, of course, the thickness. So, we get 197,5 millimeters squared. Okay. So now we have area one and area two. Okay, so the one that we chose is 60 by 60 by 5. So this is the, um, the member that we have chosen there. So now going back to the original formula, we substitute the relevant uh, values here which is 3 multiplied by area 1, which is 197,5 squared plus 4 times 197,5 area 1 multiplied by 287,5, which is area 2 all over 3 multiplied by 197,5, which is area 1 plus 287,5, which is area 2. All right? So if you punch your calculator, you will get 391,072 millimeter squared so this is your effective area of the selected member right so now we want to check the force that that area will be able to carry so axial stress is equals to force over area right So, making force the subject of formula is cause to stress multiplied by the area. Okay, you cross multiply. The stress you have, okay, which is 155, right? Multiplied by the effective area, which you have calculated, and then you got 391,072. If you times the two, you got. Um, 60,616, all right, comma, 16 newtons, all right. So if you divide by 1,000, you are going to get 60,62 kilonewtons. So this tells us that the member that we have selected, which is 60 by 60 by 5, will be able to carry the force up to here, nothing more. Okay, but then we know that member A will be subjected to 88 kilonewtons. So, meaning that the force that's going to be experienced by that member is more than what the member is capable of withstanding or carrying. All right, this is very important. So, because of that, we can conclude that this member 60 by 60 because it can only take as much as 60 comma 62 of the force will not be able to withstand 88 so now it, it means that it is not suitable so 60 by 60 by 5 angle ion is not sufficient or suitable or you can just say it's too small okay in the exam just stop here all right, by you indicating that it would not be suitable, that's uh, good enough.
However, in real life situation, you'll be expected to go and select another member until you get the one which will be able to care. All right. So I went back and selected, let's say, 70 by 70 by 8. This is a trial and error setup. Okay. The trial and error situation here. So having selected this one, I do the necessary calculations to calculate area 1 and area 2. I ended up getting uh, effective area to be 746,057 millimeters squared. Okay, so this is our effective area. So now, force is called stress multiplied by area. We do have the stress already, which is 155 times the area which is 746,057 and then you get the value that you're gonna get it divided by a thousand you'll get 115,5 so of comma six four kilonewtons okay now you go back and compare to the force given so this again means that the this member can carry up to 115,64 which is greater than 88 the given member or the, the given force. So in that case or, or in this case this member here is sufficient. If it can be able to carry 115 it obviously will be able to carry what 88. That's what this is all about. So it is sufficient. Okay, so we will go and uh, design for member B in our next video just to save time. All right, stay tuned, stay put.